So we're sitting here looking at your students' fair scores and overall Doug's performance from assessment one to assessment two decreased and so I want to figure out and talk about why that happened. So if you're not familiar with what FAIR is, it's a test to use um, for teachers to basically screen and monitor and check for progress throughout the year based on the teacher's instruction and how well the student's receiving it. It's used throughout grades kindergarten through 12, so your student's already very familiar with it, but it has changed between kindergarten and second grade to third grade, which is what your student is in. Um, the difference is that in kindergarten through second grade, the test is specifically for comprehension is read to them, but in third grade, the student is expected to read all of the passages independently. So if you're looking at the scores with me, it has four major elements that we're going to talk about. The FCAT success probability shows that Doug is right on track. In fact, he is above. If it's 84%, then we will think about doing some enhanced instruction, potentially some intervention with your student. But he seems to be doing just fine with that. But if we look at your student's May's scores, which I'm going to explain, um, it dropped from the 43rd percentile to the 25th percentile. And so these are on a scale of 1 to 99 percentile, and it's compared to other students in the same grade level throughout Florida. So the maze portion of the FAIR test is to test and assess students' growth and specific reading skills, which are specifically semantic and syntactic accuracy when reading passages independently. Um, students are provided with a reading passage, and after the first sentence, every seventh word is replaced with three different words, which the student will have to choose one that fits best within that passage in the context that they're reading. So not only are they having to understand the word, but they're also having to comprehend the context of the reading material. The passages are normally around 150 to 400 words, um, based on the student's grade level as well as their reading ability. And the students are given only three minutes to complete the passage, as well as the um, choosing the words. The scores are used to rank students' performances in relation to a specific group of students, like I said, within Florida, and they are all in third grade. Um, their scores will range within that percentile from 1 to 99, like I was talking about. And because of your student, because of Doug's May score that it's below the 30th percentile, it doesn't mean that he needs intervention or anything, but it is something that I will keep in mind because I want to further check on his progress. Um, I think it would be beneficial to work with Doug and have him do weekly oral readings so I can just kind of monitor his fluency and make sure that that progresses. Um, it will be timed, and I'll just basically check for accuracy when he's reading as well as just a normal flow of when he's reading to see just exactly what he needs to practice more so in. Um, also, when looking at his scores, that's about maze. I would also like to talk about his word analysis on the second assessment for FAIR. He got within the one percentile, which really makes me think that it was just an off day, but it is something that I would like to further monitor because it is an alarming grade, and I'm sure that it um, concerns you, so we're going to talk about it. So in order to better um, assess the student in this portion, I would like to focus more so on both phonological and morphological errors that he might make when reading. Um, and once I better understand which one of those skills he's struggling with more, I'll provide enhanced instruction so that he can overcome that and do much better on the third assessment. Um, like I said, he's already taken the first and the second fair assessment, and so now we, he just needs to complete the third assessment. And with this enhanced instruction, I really think you'll see a difference um, once I pinpoint what exactly it is that's causing him to um, score in the lower percentiles for word analysis. And then the last section is the reading comprehension, which he scored a 71 in, in the 75th percentile for assessment 1 and 2, which is decent. Um, it is below the 84th percentile, but I think it will also progress as the year progresses and my instruction is enhanced for him. So I don't think it's anything to be too alarmed over. So overall, I think that um, if you have any questions, just let me know.